Welcome to the DMZ. Exploring, looting, and securing intel will open access to missions and targets. Expect resistance from local forces and watch for other operators in the AO. What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And I'm on this new map called Vondel. I think that's what it's called. And you can clearly see, I don't know what the hell is going on. All I know is there's this one mission I gotta do where I gotta basically hit up two dead drops. One in a zoo and the other one in a university. Now you see, I'm pulling up my map right now and I'm trying to find the damn zoo. And if it was a virtual snake, it would have bit me because it's actually right where I just hovered over. I'm not going to find it for a minute, but trust me, when I do, I'm going to be like, oh, it back there. Okay. But yeah, brand new map, uh, brand new season. And like I said, I don't know what this map is about at all. But the light bulb finally goes off and I realize, oh, the zoo's right here. Station so I'm going to mark the bus station where the zoo is at, and I'm going to start heading that way. Ultra One, that area contains high amounts of radiation. Use your gas mask and move fast. I didn't know this at the time, but Bullfrog is actually the weapons case carrier. Like I said, I didn't know it at the time, so I'm like, what the hell is Bullfrog? But now that I know, um, homeboy's fast. Like, I played another encounter that y'all didn't see, and I tried to lead a mortar strike against him. He's going too fast. So, I don't know how to get him. And my best guess right now is proximity mines in front of his path, or on his path rather. That's what I'm thinking. But we're not quite to the dead drop area yet, so let's skip forward. I cut this part out, but I found a safe and I raided it, and now I got a little bit of cash on me. I'm about to buy, or no, I already have, this here thing, right? Here's a something that might be a surprise to y'all. I don't wear headphones while playing DMZ. Additional team members have been requested. Now, I don't know if he's a solo player, or a duo, or a trio, or what, but I'm spamming these requests, just in case. And, no, I have not found a dead drop yet. I haven't. But I'm awfully close to it. Well, actually, no, I'm not. It's a, bit, it's a bit further down the road. Matter of fact, enough stalling. Let me go ahead and show y'all. So what you want to do is run out this building, and it's right there in front of you. There are two things I need from out of dead drop, and I'm going to pick them up. But watch your, watch the map on the top of the corner of your screen. That chop top just turned red, and guess what it's doing? Chasing after Bullfrog. Those are two players. And you see I look dead at that safe, and I'm like, you know what? I don't need it. I don't. Because I gotta get to university. And that is all the way where the bus station is. I'll mark bus stations in, in you know, the areas where I need to go, so that way I know roughly where I need to go. There's a dead drop over there somewhere, and I need to get over there. Ah! 
Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. I didn't know this at the time, but I just, like, literally just now, the 10 enemies at the zoo being killed by yours truly. That is a second part of, of a faction mission that I don't have selected. Damn. And that's the guy that I just killed. My question is this. Does a scavenger come on this map? Because I feel like a lot of players got on this map. That's what I feel like. And I don't know what that smoke grenade was, so I'm getting the hell out of here. And oh look. A hostile UAV tower. Yeah, it's best if I stay on foot for this one. Okay, it's best to stay on foot, but given the time, which I don't have, it's probably best if I grab this damn EV Hummer. What's funny is, the following dead drop, the, the university dead drop, is actually right on top of this here gas station. So I'm gonna run through here and get shot at by some AI and dispatch them and realize that he wasn't alone. I take out one of them and I keep running. Like I said, I don't got that much time. The gas station in question is actually just around this corner. Boom, there it is. The dead drop is right here. We'll work with Watcher and her phalanx group for now. Let's see if their intel can provide us with answers. Mission complete. Return to base. So how do I feel about this map? Honestly, I like it. It's not crowded with AI, like how certain spots in Almazwa were. Almazwa were. It's not death, or it's not basically a death trap, like how damn uh, battery, not battery death. What's that, what's that freaking map called? Ashika Island. Yeah, if you shoot one time, the entire map knows where you're at, and you're basically dead. But on here, it's urban. There's some corners. It feels like a Modern Warfare 2 back in the day map. And y'all know exactly which map I'm talking about too. Um I just don't know the name of it. But yeah, that's what that's what this feels like to me. So right now, I like it. And I just wanna say I apologize for the background noise. It's currently raining at my house. So um yeah. Anyways, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then. Peace.